With their magnificent buildings and their unique culture, the ancient Egyptians have managed to immortalize themselves deeply in the consciousness of posterity. Although the age of the mummies and pharaohs has passed for many centuries, that fascinating civilization still intrigues us. While the overwhelming buildings of the Egyptians have always attracted countless tourists from all over the world, archaeologists are working flat out to uncover the secrets of the inhabitants of the pharaohs, which are still hidden. However, it happens that the experts occasionally come to a dead end in their search for clues. What's more, it sometimes seems as if some discoveries are being deliberately withheld from the interested public. Or have you actually heard of the Baca Pyramid? This unfinished masterpiece is one of the greatest mysteries ancient Egypt has to offer. What is the background of this building really about? What purpose should it have served? And above all, why was the gigantic construction project suddenly abandoned? Together with you, we're looking for answers today. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end of the video to learn one of the most bizarre facts about this strangely abandoned structure. Baca Pyramid Whether it's the world-famous Pyramids of Giza, the mystical Sphinx, or the stunning temples of Abu Simbel, anyone who embarks on a trip to Egypt will have the chance to catch a glimpse of a bygone era. However, things are a bit different in the case of the Baca Pyramid because this stone testimony does not actually appear in any popular tourist guide. Yet, in our modern day, we've known of the existence of this structure for 180 years. In the 1840s, the monument was to be awakened from its slumber in the ground and brought back to the surface. Even then, the German Egyptologist Carl Richard Lepsius recognized a pyramid in it. Since the enigmatic tomb was apparently never completed, it's also known as the Unfinished Pyramid of Saujet el Arjan. At the beginning of the 20th century, the structure was to be examined by the Italian researcher Alessandro Barsanti. Just like his French colleague Gaston Maspero, Maspero was deeply impressed by the discovered burial shaft. However, the turmoil of modern times does not take into account the ancient search for clues. Barsanti died in 1917, and the two world wars brought further research to a standstill for decades. It was only in 1954 that the Baca Pyramid was to be freed from the rubble and sand that had swallowed it up in the meantime. Particularly curious, this did not happen as part of a large-scale excavation, but for a film shoot. The producers were looking for an authentic location for the monumental film Land of the Pharaohs and finally found it in the region around Saujet el Arjan. However, anyone who hopes to be able to marvel at the unfinished structure with their own eyes these days should forget it. The Baca Pyramid is located in a military restricted zone, which is why archaeologists are forbidden from further investigating the structure. It's uncertain in what condition the facility is currently in, but according to some rumors, it's likely to be catastrophic. According to this, it's long been rumored among the local population that the necropolis has been built over by bungalows and barracks and is being misused as a garbage dump. The Unfinished Masterpiece the true ambition of this building project becomes clear to us when we take a look at the length of the sides of the Baca Pyramid, it's 200 meters. Since the mighty Cheops Pyramid also had an original base length of 230 meters, it's assumed that its unfinished counterpart would have reached comparable heights if it had ever been completed. In general, however, almost nothing is known about the background of the Baca Pyramid. It seems as if the project was stopped immediately after the foundation was worked out. The substructure of the tomb houses a T-shaped shaft. If you want to reach it, you have to climb a 100-meter-long steep stairway. However, this stepped path is interrupted halfway by a large ledge. Why this is so is still unknown. A found object indicates that so-called blocking stones were once intended to be placed here. 
The actual burial shaft is 27 meters long, 11.7 meters wide, and more than 20 meters deep. Although the inner walls of this passage were painstakingly polished, the researchers could not find a ceiling or wall paneling here. All that was completed was the covering of the floor. This is presented in the form of huge blocks of granite, the tops of which have also been polished. In detail, these massive components are four and a half meters long and weigh around nine tons. We have a natural helper to thank for the fact that we know today that the planned height of the burial chamber was a good three meters. After heavy rains, the falling masses of water were backed up to the same height mark since the walls had been smoothed and polished by then. The overlying water in turn seeped directly into the unhewn subsoil. In addition to the question about the sudden halt to construction, another question has remained unanswered to this day. Who was the Baca Pyramid supposed to be built in honor of? What mighty ruler was never laid to rest here? A look at the mysterious sarcophagus may help to get closer to the answer to this central question. Mysterious Sarcophagus Near the west end of the burial chamber, the experts came across a mysterious coffin. In detail, this sarcophagus had an oval shape and was incorporated directly into the floor. However, with a length of 3.15 meters and a width of 2.2 meters, the object was much too bulky to fit through the access route. As a result, it's reasonable to conclude that the sarcophagus was lowered down the shaft while the foundation was being laid. Immediately next to this huge coffin, its also oval-shaped lid could be found, which finished perfectly with the sarcophagus. According to Alessandro Barsanti, the tomb even contained a few artifacts that indicated burial. The inexplicable thing is that not only is there no trace of the objects in question these days, in fact, they should never be examined in detail. However, the Italian researcher stated that he had come across a small slate bearing the name of Rajadev. In fact, there are very few reliable sources about the life of this pharaoh. What is certain is that Rajadev was in power between the years 2580 and 2570 BC and was a son of Pharaoh Cheops. His father's mighty tomb was also completed during Rajadev's reign. Why the tablet that was discovered bore the name of this pharaoh of all things is uncertain. Rajadev actually built his own pyramid in Abu Roash. In truth, the scientific minds are still arguing about who should really be buried here. But what do the experts have to say about this? The Enigma About the Lord of the Grave Barsanti's statements are overshadowed by a mighty downer that cannot be proven from today's perspective. All we know is that no grave goods have been tracked down or officially described. Possibly, the discovered graffiti embodies a more tangible clue. Both within the burial shaft and in the surrounding area, the workers left numerous messages in red and black ink. Mainly, the names of the worker teams were immortalized here. The incomplete inscription, Star of the King, also indicates the name of the planned grave complex. The problem, since the graffiti does not contain a clear title, it's extremely complicated to correctly assign it to a pharaoh. It's not clear whether the king's name Nibkare, which means something like my lord is the Ka of Re, really referred to the original lord of the grave. In this exciting search for clues, the so-called cartouche names are considered particularly promising. In detail, it means the name of a ruler surrounded by an elongated oval line. Here too, the top the topic of the Ka is taken up. In ancient Egyptian belief, the Ka is a part of the soul that leaves the body of the dying and continues to exist on its own. However, since the copies that Barsanti made of the cartouche names at the time were anything but accurate, the symbols could still not be fully deciphered. With regard to the king's name, the experts are pursuing completely different interpretations. While some of the translation attempts read, his Ka is divine, his Ka is beautiful, or his Ka is power. The German Egyptologist Wolfhart Westendorf even recognized the depiction of a giraffe in the inscriptions. 
magical abilities were attributed to long-necked, even-toed ungulates in ancient Egypt. Aside from Barsanti's slate claim, Rajadev's eldest son Baka is discussed as the intended grave lord. Since Baka died completely unexpectedly after his ascension to the throne, it could also be explained why the monumental building project was abandoned so suddenly. In addition, however, it's also conceivable that another son of Rajadev, namely Setka, represented the original Lord of the Grave. Possibly this fell out with his family, which is why he refused to be buried in Giza. The dating also proves to be incomparably problematic in view of the incomplete facts. Since no clear king's name was identified, the experts have to orientate themselves on the architectural style used. However, experts are divided as to whether construction began in the 4th or 3rd dynasty. As already mentioned, the site should not have been scientifically examined for many decades. But why did the Egyptian military decide to set up an exclusion zone here of all places? And why do the satellite images give the impression that the burial site had been systematically filled up over time? Although Barsanti suspected at the time that there were many more undiscovered cavities surrounding the complex, it's currently unclear when and if the site will again be the target of excavation work. Some people suspect that this has a staggering lore. The area would hide some inexplicable secrets that have thrown our conventional narrative into complete chaos. The Silver Pharaoh Aside from this peculiar unbuilt pyramid, there have been several other Egyptian discoveries that confuse scientists as well. As the third pharaoh of the 21st dynasty, Susenes I ruled between the years 1040 and 994 BC. During his reign, the king built magnificent temples dedicated to the gods Mut, Amun, and Khons. In 1940, the French archaeologist Pierre Monte managed to rediscover the tomb of the powerful ruler in Tanis. In addition to the king, his wife, a prince, and an important priest were laid to rest in it. In detail, after his death, Susenes I was not placed in just one, but in three sarcophagi. The first coffin was made of rose granite and originally belonged to Pharaoh Menephtah. Beneath it slumbered a black granite sarcophagus, also reused, that encased the object that eventually gave Susenes I his unofficial nickname, a coffin of pure silver adorned with precious gold ornaments. While the sarcophagi and the precious grave goods are still in amazing condition after all this time, the king mummy was not so lucky. It had already completely disintegrated by the time the tomb was opened. Bubastis Forget the hilarious cat videos circulating the internet these days. When it comes to the question of cat worship, no other people can match the ancient Egyptians. The city of Bubastis was considered the cult center of the goddess Bastet. Within mythology, the cat goddess was considered the daughter of the sun god Re. It should therefore come as no surprise that numerous bronze cat figures and even huge cat cemeteries have been found in the ruins of Bubastis. After their death, many cats were specially transported to Bubastis, mummified and buried in holy graves. Hatshepsut where is the mummy of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Hatshepsut? This exciting question remained unanswered for many decades, before the Egyptian minister of education Farouk Hosni announced an absolute world sensation in 2007. According to this, a team of experts managed to identify the queen's mummy using DNA analysis and a CT scan. In detail, it was a body that was found in the Valley of the Kings in the early 20th century. The detailed investigation revealed that Hatshepsut probably lived to be 35 and died of cancer or complications from diabetes. In the meantime, however, the identification has been questioned again. According to this, a single tooth, which is attributed to the queen, does not fit into the gap of the mummy's upper jaw. So it is that a widespread theory once again receives new fuel. The pharaoh was allegedly murdered for political reasons, and her body was then cleared out of the way. All right, folks, now it's your turn. What do you think of the unfinished Baca Pyramid? Do you think that the real background of the building is deliberately kept secret? Write your thoughts and guesses in the comments below. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll never miss a video again. Finally, 
please take a look at the other posts on our channel, which we've linked for you here in the credits. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.